stings so bad. I've been using the Garnier Skin Active to try and help and it's just gotten worse. Like that is, it hurts so bad. I put makeup on yesterday because it's when we got engaged, we were going out and took a lot of nice photos. Did I cake my face? Yes. But did I wash it up afterwards? Yes. Um, I'm just gonna try like a mud mask or something. I haven't had anything on my face all day. Last night I tried the Aveeno Baby Soothing Relief. Usually I'd use the CeraVe. I stopped using that about a week ago and used the Balmain's Daily Moisturising Cream to help. Um, I used to use CeraVe. At one point I was using every now and then the pure clay glow mask which we've kind of burnt my skin a bit. I don't know if I've got a lot of my set of left. I might try and use that, I don't know. I used to get rid of my spots, so but I just thought I would film this because this is like the worst my skin has looked in about 10 years. It's horrific. Well not 10 years. I did not look this bad when I was 11, I want to say like 13, I don't, I don't think it's ever been this bad, ever, genuinely ever, never been this bad in my life. Any bit of my skin that's not affected is, well not even, I've got like spots I can feel here that are like little bumps, they're not massive ones but they're like, it's like that's, like what the hell, this is, it hurts, it hurts. So not only has my skin flared up and I'm really off, I ordered a Mackey's even though I can't even afford one and I asked for no pickles. They gave me nothing but pickles. I can't eat that. I actually hate my life. Good morning, it's day three, I'm pretty sure. And my spots have kind of gone down. I've just rinsed my face with warm water. Um, I'm about to put on my mud mask. Where has it gone? Aha, I'm about to put my detoxifying mud mask on. Um, last night I used the anti-pollution mud mask, which is the pink one. Got them both from the pharmacy. It burned on my skin, so I took it off straight away. Um, rinse to my face and then I put my CeraVe moisturising lotion on and for some reason I don't know whether it's because I kind of like patted my face with cold water with my hands whilst I was putting the moisturiser on but like it didn't seep into my skin because about two hours after I was like my face still feels like like oily from like like creamy kind of thing so I rinsed my face with warm water and lo and behold it was still on my skin it hadn't like because usually it goes on my skin goes all the way deep and then like dries within like 20 minutes um i don't know whether it's because i chugged a load of water but i always chug a load of water anyway but yeah so i took that off and then i used my CeraVe hydrating cleanser to take it off rinsed my face again with warm water and then with cold water and then this morning i woke up and i had so much oil um so my skin has now gone from dry to oily and I know I'm paranoid all the time but this is a the last time my skin changed like dramatically is when I got pregnant with Bella because I had oily skin and then the pregnancy made me have like a combination and then a lot of dry skin because I was like really dehydrated but uh this amount of spots and then my face going oily after I've like washed it. I even like like dried my face with a towel and I still woke up with loads of oils which I have not had in a very like I'm talking I can't remember the last time I had oils in my skin because for like the last eight, nine months, maybe a year, it's been like dry, maybe even you know <clears throat> not since postpartum I don't think I've had like oily skin. So this is very weird. But yeah, I'm going to put my detoxifying mud mask on. I'm going to leave that on for a bit. 
um, see how that goes. And then I think I'm going to use the rest of my pure clay glow mask, which is this one, my L'Oreal Paris one, um, because that seems to take a lot of the redness down. Um, I don't know what moisturiser I'm going to use because like I said I have my CeraVe one, I have my Aveeno one and I also have this one which is really good for like um, eczema and blood dry and sensitive skin but like now my skin's gone oily so I can like, I've also got baby lotion, um, Johnson's baby lotion which I used to use years ago for my skin as just a really thin moisturiser so I, I really don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll, I'll keep you updated. To be honest, it's the ones that are fast that I don't like. We made it to Sutton, we've Go just got to find it. our way out at the station and then find the actual hospital itself. Uh, that's going to be fun. So we got to the hospital, Bella soaked through her trousers. So she's now wearing a nappy and the push chair got wet so she's got my jacket underneath. Luckily it's boiling hot so i would taken my jacket off anyway, but we're going to have to find somewhere. I'd sworn I'd put bottoms in the bag. I must have left them on the side because I was rushing this morning. So, Emma's wearing leather and it's probably baking in it. No, I've got a break. You happy? She's fine. She's sure going to go and find a phone truck. We'll do it after the appointment. So, she'll be fine. But yeah, that's the update at the minute. Nothing normal can just happen for us. Not even a, a normal hospital appointment. <laughs> Back at the train station, she screamed and fought and nearly kicked the poor paediatrician in the head. But it was a success successful one, she's healthy, she's fine, there's nothing wrong. Um, but we are going to have to go to health visit, probably about like speech, because she's getting frustrated because she can't actually say any words yet. So, thinking speech therapy, so just, you know, give her a kickstart. I just want to go to you. made it back to Solihull. Bella finally settled in her push chair, like... When did she settle down? It was when we got on the, uh, before we got, just before we got on the train from town, she settled. So it's been, I want to say, like, 15 minutes she's been calm. Um, no idea what we're having to eat when we get back, but I know I'm absolutely starving. Um, but yeah, everything's fine, she's all good, she's all healthy. I just can't wait to get home.
Hey guys, so this is July 7th um, and I got tonsillitis so I was just showing the things I usually use to get rid of it which is uh, lemp sip, tea, salt water and of course a vitamin C tablet. Um, the lemp sips are quite gross so I'm adding some sugar to it just to make it taste better. Ironically I didn't even get to the lemp sip part of the trio. Um, but if you are feeling really sick as well as having tonsillitis, then a lemon soup is a good way to battle that at the same time. And um, I've had tonsillitis so many times I've lost count. At one point, my teacher actually gave me a board to write on because I got it so much. Um, so this isn't new to me. Okay, so I'll get my vitamin C tablet, um, which did help me. Um, throughout that morning when I was dealing with it in the early stages. Now time for your salt water. You can use any type of salt. Um, I like to use rock salt but I didn't have a lot left so I just use this like normal table salt. You need a good amount in there. The more salt in there, the more bacteria is going to be killed at the back of your throat, in and around your mouth. So just whack a load in. Good morning, everybody. It is a Sunday. Like a drowned rush. I'm alive. My hair has not changed since I last filmed because ah, anxiety in the zero way. I just yeah. I've got tonsillitis that's stuck around. It got worse and ended up biting the inside of my cheek in my sleep. So now it's very difficult to eat for like the last around now day two. Because of said swollen throat, I could not take my pill. Um, at the time I was supposed to take it. I'm now on my period, which is good. This is the first time I've had like two days of spotting, well one day of spotting and then natural period because I've been off my pill now for three days. Um, so I'm not pregnant, yeah, yeah, I'm giving up on the pill. I'm actually giving up because I get times like this so much that I don't want to risk this happening again. So I'm going to phone them tomorrow morning and say that to give me the injection. Because <laughs> my life cannot seem to cope with the pill right now. It is. I was doing fine. I was taking it at the same time every single day. And then this happened. And I'm in a lot of pain. Um, the whole of the inside of my cheek is just sticking into my teeth and it hurts. I didn't do any salt water like I was supposed to yesterday. I'm going to do that today. But I thought I would do a little update because I haven't uploaded anything in like a week now. I want to say, um, so hopefully this can be at the end of a very big vlog that I'm going to upload tonight for tomorrow. I feel like I go through like two weeks of uploading and then it's, sorry, didn't upload this week. It's like, I just can't keep up. I just can't keep up. It's just ridiculous. And I have so much to film. It's coming up that I just need to get this week out of the way and loaded. So, yeah, it's been a lot. It's been hospital appointments, hair dyeing failures because the hair didn't strip all the colour out. Now tonsillitis and biting my cheek this week just has not given me a break. Oh, and I woke up by a wasp this morning by my window. Luckily it flew out and I shut the window but I was wearing a t-shirt so my whole tit was out. And I was like, I hope no one saw that. No one ever walked down my road, so no one did. But it was just like, ah, wasp, and my tits are out. Um, I 
Bella is awake, but she's not screaming. I'm trying to clean up the kitchen before she has a meltdown so I can just whack her in the high chair and give her some breakfast. I'm going to start talking now because this is hurting. I have broken the bowl of milk coffee because I'm going to need it today because I completely forgot Bella had a birthday party to go to. Yeah! Yay! Mm -hmm. Yay! So, we got that to do. Yay! Yay! I'm tempted to just whack this red dye on my hair and just be. Yay! Yay! Oh. <laughs> I love you! <coughs> so, we're dealing with. <laughs> A very clean toddler. Um, I just felt like I needed the caffeine. And here we are. She woke up last night and we were watching Spider Man. And she just kind of like sat in my lap the entire time. Nearly. For like a good solid 20 minutes, she was fully watching the film with us. Before she wanted my phone for Coconut. She never does this, she always looks through. <laughs> so, it's a first for her. <laughs> She's in a very happy mood today, which is in my favour. Um, the kittens also got moved in here because from yesterday, no, from Friday, they were three weeks old. So they're now over three weeks old. Um, and Luna decided to across a small little tray her potty um and just drag it everywhere um and i was just like that's the, that's the last straw she was refusing to eat the food that was there and begging for more food and she was just acting like a strappy teenager and i was like oh you need to step up and my room is not going to be a safe haven for you anymore so we are Cat free in our bedroom now. We slept all the way through last night once we'd gone to bed. Where are you off to? That's your dummy, yeah? Careful! You're now over here. Everything's now. Transitioned fine. Luna didn't try and drag him out like she did last week. She was in trouble, so she didn't fight me on the change and it was still light outside when we did it, so, yeah, oh, she's got, hello. Grabs a daisy. And the fact that I've been putting it off to diet. Party's been cancelled. Um, because the birthday girl has got COVID. Um, I don't know who the child is or the parent. I'm hoping it's going to go like a dark red. I've tried to avoid my roots as much as possible. I've still got hair dye in the bowl in case I miss spots. Then I can like re go over it where I need to. Oh my god, my mouth hurts so much. Oh. Hi, can I get a iced Welcome back to the saga. This is what we are currently dealing with. Half of my hair didn't <laughs> take to the red. Oh god, I need gloves. Or do I? Is there even any point in using gloves at this point? I don't really know. I just know that the bottom of my hair didn't completely take, but that's fine. That's why we left extra dye in the bottom. It seems that whenever I don't dye my hair in here, something goes wrong. Um, so whenever I do dye my hair in here, it always turns out fine because I can see better in the white.
sure I'm going to remember. Let's see how this looks in a couple of hours. And I'll update you guys. I'm not too shaved my head. I absolutely hate it. Jamie's gonna go up to see the jewel and get me some black dye to just go over this. I think once graduation's done, I'm just gonna shave my head. I just, I want my natural hair and no matter what I do, I can't get to a colour that like looks good while transitioning out because my hair's not light anymore. So. I'm just gonna have to do like a whole refresh and Bella's awake, so yeah. 